Avatar joins the rift and our lovely video guides over here. To counter her, pick someone like Zed who can juke the hell out of all of her abilities. Katarina is pretty good at doing exactly the same thing if she prioritizes on dodging instead of simply engaging, and Syndra can keep on moving and casting to dodge and juke as well. LeBlanc for her mobility, Cassidy for his ultimate and engage, and Ari for her ult and charm make other good counters as well. Talia's passive grants her extra movement speed whenever she's walking near walls. Her Q throws five stones consecutively in front of her, during which she can freely move to adjust each and every single one of them, but it places the ground she used it under on a two minute cooldown, which will grant her extra movement speed, but also reduce the blades of her Q to one and refund half of its mana costs. Her W can be used to throw enemies in whatever direction she chooses and will be activated after a one second delay. Her E scatters 18 boulders on the floor in front of her that remain there for four seconds, slowing all enemies and explode at the end dealing damage. They also instantly individually explode on enemies dashing or being thrown through them. Finally, her ultimate is Trump's big dream and it creates a huge wall dividing any section of the map, also allowing her to surf it to a location if she so desires. Believe me, it's quite hard to be effective playing as Thalia and low elo ones will probably mess it up a lot. But when you get the hang of it, the possibilities are actually endless. As for spells, heal and cleanse are the best options she'll actually take since she'll try to stay far from enemies most of the time anyway. You on the other hand might be taking ignite to jump on top of her and smash her quickly. In terms of power spikes, like most mages, her true power can truly be seen in the mid game, although neither her early or late are quite bad. In the early laning phase, be careful for her level 3 because she can finally fully blast you by her combo and it'll hurt. Remember that she does need her ultimate for damage. Seraph's Embrace will make taking her down quite a pain, and Moral and Omicron grants her quite a boost in survivability and denies you some as well. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, Talia can both fling you to her and away from her depending on her needs. Don't blindly stand on top of her boulders, it'll really hurt, and she's not invulnerable while riding her wall, so knock her off of it if you get the chance. Ultimately, have fun doing it.